New Year, New Squad. Welcome back into sports, everyone. Arizona Western College boasts a proud history of men's basketball out on the court. Last year's team fell short of the program's lofty expectations, falling in the region semifinals. Over the summer, head coach Kyle Isaacs has completely revamped the Matador roster, which only features three returning players and placed an emphasis on building a squad that can spread the floor and shoot the tray, something AWC believes can be the key to punching their ticket back to the national tournament for the first time since 2019. Our own Chaz Messman was at a recent practice and joins us with more. We could not shoot the ball at all last year. We were literally in last place and made threes this past season. I think it will be different this year. Again, I'm knocking on wood. I'm not trying to jinx us because it helps so much when you can throw the ball in the hoop. AWC needs to replace last year's leading scorer, A.J. Marmalejos, who's off to Lamar University. And the Matadors are looking to returning sophomore Cam Atkinson to fill the shoes as the leader on offense. So, I mean, we've, we've given Cam the green light. We're saying, like, if you have the ball and you're not shooting it, like, what are you doing out there? It's open to whatever he wants it to be. I mean, we want him shooting the ball, you know, every other possession. So it's kind of on me to yeah. step into that leadership role. I think I'll have to score more this year, like create more shots for myself instead of just being a catch and shoot guy. Atkinson leads an extremely young team, and with so much youth on this squad, the Matadors must overcome some early growing pains. It's a different speed in the game, so you know I'm still trying to learn, get better at it, keep perfecting my craft. I'm getting used to it though. In a preseason scrimmage against top-ranked Salt Lake Community College. The young Matadors got an early wake-up call. Yeah, you knew right when that ball was tipped, they were like, oh, this is a little bit different. And, you know, it was good. It was very eye-opening for them to see the difference uh, in ability in what they had been used to and played against. Over the course of the semester, this team built of players from around the world has worked to come together as a brotherhood. We're all getting used to each other, just bonding off the court, chilling, going to the cafeteria, getting something to eat, you know, places to eat, getting some new food, trying new things. You know, also going to the movies, went to the movies a couple times, you know. As game one fast approaches, the coaching staff continues to preach improving 1% better every day with the end goal of reaching the national tournament in mind. You don't have to be ready to go in November. You, we have to get better each and every time that we go out there. And by the time March rolls around, we need to be playing our best basketball, which, you know, with this group, I really think that we will be. Arizona Western opens the season on Friday against Western Texas. The Matadors home opener is set for Tuesday, November 5th against Imperial Valley College. Moving on, maybe the flag football game of the year going down in Calexico tonight. Over to Ward Field we go. Senior night for 11-1 Vincent Memorial as they welcome in the 15-6 Brawley Wildcats into Calexico for this IVL showdown. Starting in the first half, scoreless ball game. The Wildcats, Brianna Montano knocking at the door and there's Tayana Venegas answering. Brawley on the board first. It's 6 to nothing. Then on the extra point try, Montano Going back to the end zone here, but this one picked. Gala Cervantes narrowly avoiding the flagpole on the return as well, and she is gone. Cervantes taking this one back the full 80 yards to the house. Now with the coming on the extra point try, that play only worth two points. Feels like it should be worth more for that effort, but either way, 6-2 ball game now. A couple drives later, Vincent with it here. Azul Trujillo with the... Quick fire here, and that moves the Scots a bit closer to the end zone, about a six-yard pickup on the reception there. A couple plays later, Trujillo going for it all, but this time it's the Wildcats getting a big INT. Milagros Tejas going up and taking it away. A big return after, not to the house, but still a big return nonetheless. No touchdown on the following drive, but Brawley would later pull away in this one. Wildcats with a 21-15 win. They hand Vincent just their second loss on the season. And with that, that's all the time we have for sports.